You can also use the same conducted EMI for some gesture recognition. Let's look at another one of these noise sources. These are compact fluorescent light bulbs. That's a CFL lamp being turned on for a few seconds. The, the red lines that go all the way from top to bottom are the noise generated from that CFL anytime it's on. And this noise you see only when the user touches the bulb. Um, and part of this resonant circuit is the bulb, the, the lamp itself. So that forms a resonant circuit, and when the user brings their hand near or actually touches the bulb, they're going to capacitively load this uh, resonance loop, and they're going to detune the oscillator. So they either cause a slight change in frequency, or more often, they just cause an increase in power consumption. So we can see in the EMI and the power lines. Um, but you can also, if you have a bunch of overhead lamps, you can get you know, you're also going to capacitively load it when you walk underneath the lamp. So you can get some coarse proximity information about users moving around in a space without adding any additional instrumentation. Commodity, CFLs, there's no instrumentation on the user, and of course you can monitor the noise generated from all those different CFLs with a single point sensor. So that's an example of doing gesture recognition like U-Touch, which looks at a different appliance that generates noise, and that is an LCD. So Again, if we look at that noise, uh, the red line that goes all the way top to bottom is noise produced whenever the LCD is on. And this is the time when the user is touching the display. An LCD, as many of you know, is just in a, you know, a grid, an array of uh, pixels. And the rows of the, L, the, of the LCD get driven sequentially. And so energy is consumed at that row rate which produces EMI on the power line at the row rate. Again, when your hand comes near or touches the display, you're going to capacitively load the row lines, um, and thus higher power consumption is seen when it drives that row. Touch sensing on all LCDs, not just touch LCDs. Now, it's not the same. We can't tell you where you're touching. I can just tell you are touching or you're not. But the idea is, again, using just this noise on the power line, and again, a single point sensor, you can turn all these screens into uh, user inputs.